friends welcome to my hospital at ranaghat west bengal india this is a posterior subcapsular cataract i have taken up this case for surgery this is a totally unedited surgery please watch each and every step very carefully by this time the main incision has been made viscoelastic substance has been injected into the anterior chamber this is a paracentesis on the right side of the main incision and this is another paracentesis on the left side of the main incision and now capsulorexis is to be done with the help of a 26 gauge bayonet needle the anti capsule is incised and a nice easy to hold capsule tag is raised Now I take this uterine forceps, hold this capsular tag, go anticlockwise, remain at a certain distance away from the margin of the pupil. At the same time, the anterior leaf of the main incision is elevated, and thus this rexis is completed without much leakage of viscoelastic substance. Now hydro dissection. fluid wave goes to the opposite equator the nucleus is tapped we can see that the new the fluid wave came anteriorly and now what to do how to manage this soft nucleus there's a technique which is which is called mechanical chop here you just support the nuclear mass with the fecal tip and use your chopper to slice the nucleus have a look at this the fecal tip is introduced it is buried into the substance of the nucleus be in irrigation support the nuclear mass and use the chopper to slice the nucleus now this is on heminucleus it is being just emulsified at on go without dividing it into pieces because this is soft and this is the other heminucleus it is also difficult to hold just engulf it with little bit of ultrasonic energy fecal power used in this case was 40% flow rate was 35 ml per minute and vacuum as vacuum was 350 mm of mercury now little bit of visco is injected in this case let us use bimanual irrigation aspiration the advantage is it goes through smaller side ports but the side port should not be very small the it should be such that the probes can enter into the anterior chamber easily like this here irrigation is from the right side port the aspiration from the left and just draw and feed the lens matter into the aspirating port of the probe now change hands irrigation from left now and aspiration from right and cortex is cleaned And now this is a bit of hydro polish. By hydro polish, I mean you are using the fluid jet, irrigating fluid jet, to dislodge the cells or lens fibers from the posterior capsule. Now I'm in IA two mode, and removing some lens fibers from five o'clock. In IA two mode, vacuum is much much less. and now this is 2% hpmc in this case we have selected a hydrophobic acrylic single piece intraocular lens this is hoya from japan and the cartridge is beautiful it goes through 2.8 mm incision easily into the anterior chamber and you need not enlarge the main incision at any time 
here the haptics are placed in the capsular bag the IOL is rotated in such a way that the haptics are 90 degree away from the main incision and now there is a lot of viscoelastic substance in the anterior chamber and in the capsular bag and that has to be removed and just irrigating BSS first in AC now and then in the capsular bag and now we take the irrigating probe of bimanual IA and do some more irrigation of the anterior chamber you can go up to anterior chamber angle but don't touch the iris so the capsular bag and the anterior chamber is nicely irrigated and now I use irrigation and aspiration together and you can see how nicely the visco is clean If you clean visco nicely, intraocular pressure will remain normal. There will be no visco induced rise of intraocular pressure. Now, this is a bit of, this is a bubble of air because the anterior is getting shallow. If the AC tends to be shallow, inject an air bubble and then buy some time for hydration of the side ports, injection of moxifloxacin into the anterior chamber, all these things. And now is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. just to remove the air bubble and form the anterior chamber very nicely. There is an air bubble. It doesn't matter if it remains there. But if you want to remove this, take the irrigating probe and irrigate some BSS in the anterior chamber and see if it comes out. Here it is. Irrigating probe goes in and it didn't come out. Now this is another way of forming the anterior chamber. Just direct on fluid jet into the anterior chamber. So thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills.